Welcome back to The Gadget Show. Now for something slightly different. We're turning our attention to the increasingly popular trend of crowdfunding, where projects are financed by raising money from large groups of people. In recent years, crowdfunding websites like Kickstarter and Indiegogo have given startups the platform to showcase their ideas to the world and source cash investment to turn their clever concepts into real products. Some of the biggest Kickstarter successes include the Pebble smartwatches and the Oculus Rift VR headset. But what are the current standout crowdfunding projects? Well, to find out, we enlisted the help of a former dragon with an eye for money-making ideas. Meet former Dragon's Den star Theo Pathetus, a man who certainly knows a good idea when he hears one. No question in my mind, if you can get the money off crowdfunding, without giving any equity away, you should go for it, because it's free money. So we sat Theo down with the latest tech funded in this way to see if he thought any of it would be giving sliced bread a run for its money. First up was the Coalition, a brand new bag that not only charges all your USB gadgets, but also doubles up as a wireless hotspot for all your data. Do I look a Wally in this? <laughs> Does it suit me? Does my bum look big in it? The bag weighs an impressive $50,000 off Kickstarter and has various compartments for all your portable tech. It also comes with a wireless battery-powered external hard drive to access your media no matter where you are. Brilliant. Except for one thing. At the moment, it's about 350 quid. Well, quite honestly, 350 quid, I could find a bag for 50, 60 quid, I could get a charging unit for under 30 quid maximum, get a brilliant one for 30 quid, and the Seagate drive, less than 100 quid. In fairness, the bag is made well. It's a good quality bag, but it isn't 350 quid's worth. Next was the world's first 3D printing pen, the Three Doodler. After raising over $2 million back in 2013, the pen has become quite well established. Obviously, the numerous small investors saw something in it which was eluding Theo. I can't for one minute think you can do have any commercial applications. It's a soldering iron, a glue gun rolled into one, and instead of putting glue in, you're putting in bits of plastic. Uh, it's not really a 3D printer at all. It's a toy. It's really for kids. Um, sorry. Mr. 3D Doodler Doodler is not a children's toy because it says, keep out of reach of children, look. The next bit of crowdfunding tech was the pocket scanner. This rather simple looking gadget can scan any document or picture and wirelessly send it straight to your laptop, phone or tablet. Pocket scanner? I saw that on the table and I thought, what a lot of rubbish. I can use my phone, click picture, click put it in an app. Oh, it does know what it's doing. But actually, I was really impressed with it. Very clever, very, very clever. I was impressed the way it scanned, the way it stitched together, the way it had a speech function. Dot me, Dylan, although you see several Suntory brands in the UK worth a combined 25 million pounds review may consolidate the work between fewer shops. The company's other major okay, European Okay, 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 stop. Computer speech but you can definitely understand what she's saying. So the software that goes with the scanner, in my mind, is as impressive, if not more impressive, than the scanner. 130 quid, actually, not bad. Theo then turned his attention to the Hackable, a brand new toy which kids can program their own games into. And after crowdfunding $240,000, it's due to hit the shops at the end of the year. Ah, oh, what the idle rich do when they're not working. The ball can be programmed using an iPhone or iPad. And kids can design games that use the ball's coloured lights, speaker and accelerometers. But Theo decided not to get too complicated. Um, this isn't a game I just invented. It is absolute rubbish, but it changes colour. There we go. Uh, and there's a lady over there. Oh. <laughs> yes, the object of the game is to catch the ball. But overall, even with the programmable elements of the ball, Theo was less than impressed. I think it's got a long way to go before you want to give it to a kid to learn to program and do things. I think there's much better products out there 
that kids can learn to program on. And the final gadget for Theo to scrutinise for potential was the stash cup. Simply put, this is a retractable cup that you can smash on a hard surface to make for easy storage and then expand and use again. The stash cup, I thought, was boring. I looked at it on the table, didn't think I'd be doing anything with it. But actually, I quite liked it. And when you do, apparently, if you do this, do that, and that, it's a pocket sized stash cup. It's another example of a simple idea gaining traction in the crowdfunding world. It's good. It does what it says on the tin. And coffee doesn't half taste nice through it as well. So, after a day of taking in what the world of crowdfunding gadgets has to offer, which, if any, won Theo's favour? It's the lowest tech of all. The stash cup. So we looked at technology and we've gone for a collapsible coffee cup. There we have it. I must confess to being a little surprised, John, at a coffee cup. Yes, but I think you're being a bit harsh. I think what's brilliant about crowdfunding is that any idea like this has the chance to become a reality. Ten years ago, it would have remained just a dream. Yes, yes. And another good example of that is this, which is the uh, Electronics Circuit Scribe, which basically allows you to draw circuits on paper, workable circuits. It has conductive ink in it, so you don't have to worry about breadboards and the like. Now, you can simply draw your circuit on a piece of paper. It was initially the idea of a scientist. It got picked up by a popular science magazine and got so much attention, he decided to launch it um, on a crowdfunding website and raised almost $675,000. Wow. It's now a marketable product which you can own and it should, I should be able to complete my circuit here. Jolly good. And there's so much stuff in the box. I mean, you've got a motor there, you've got resistors, you've got uh, photo resistors, buzzers, transistors, everything is fantastic. No limits, John. And yes. to illustrate that Ooh. even more, I've got this. I went a little bit more elaborate. Yep. So if we hook up the source there, this is motor. a motor. Yes. Yeah. Ah, jolly good. Yeah. Excellent.